Hey guys, my name is Amin and in this video we're gonna see why we are using this line when we are coding in Python. Get yourself a cup of coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that I did, I created my main.py which is empty so I'm gonna copy that. My main.py to my other main, I would like to have two and simply I open my other main and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to define a function that does a summation for me. So sum a, b, and simply just return a plus b. And I come here and I do print m function and I give it 6 and 9. So if I run it, it simply prints what 15 for me. So I come here and I do import my other main and then add a print statement and I say from my other main import that sm but I need 60 and 90 do my main that py I get two outputs 15 and 150 but why in fact that 15 it is coming from here I mean if I come here and I just comment this line and I run this guy again, you'll see you still get the 15. So this is what I don't want that. I'm just calling this function here, but this one, it comes out of that automatically. So let's do something else. Um, if I just come some lines down and I do print dunder, name and then I run this guy I get main so what is name name is a special variable that we use when we interact with modules here this my other main is my module so you you need that you, you have the name when you deal with functions with libraries modules mod you can import a module which is inherit inside Python or you can create your own doesn't matter the thing is that so it's your your name is a special character when you interact with modules and this main in fact is a value that represents the name of the top level environment and the top level environment is it means the level of a, that the code it executes not the imported level so what does it mean let's uh, explain better if I import let's say time and I do print uh, time dot dunder name like this and I do it again look it shows the name of that or if I do even sleep which is inside time so it, it shows me something like this so it shows the top level that we are working with that here we are working with main here we're working with sleep one let's uh delete these two so i'm gonna bring these two back and i have print name if i come here and i do what i do uh add the line So I would like to run my main right now and see what we get. Look at that. We get 15 from my other main and we get 150 from main. So when we run the code, what will happen once we import the, my other main, First, when it imports, it prints that, which goes to the second line and then print the name, which is, look, we have one empty and then we have uh, my other main and then 15. Then it comes here and it works with these two guys, which eventually we get this. So how we can solve the problem, we should, we should let them know what we want to have. First, let me delete these two. And this is the, this is the time that the magic line, it comes to the show.
Okay, perfect. I, I'm gonna do this. I don't want to have this printed and don't want to have this guy printed. So I simply just do clear and then I will run my line. So what will happen? We are still importing that function from the other module, but since I have this guy, it doesn't go through the other lines and only prints out the line that was for me. So I hope I was able to explain it. And now you're going to use it, I guess, in a way that you understand what you're doing. Uh, thanks for watching this short video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye everyone. Bye.